probably came back on here to say some wild shit. So, I was looking at like some critics of people that was like literally saying that like hip hop was bad. And like it's not good music. And it was like a whole board of like you know, Caucasian people, like a board, like a committee saying that how bad was hip hop was and this and this and that about hip hop. So then I sat here and I thought about heavy metal. And then it made me realize What the fuck is heavy metal? Like I was listening to some heavy metal shit and I was like who the fuck is this? Satan? Yo, the song came on like this. What? What the fuck is who is this? Hell boy? Yo. Yo. I don't know how to say this without being racist. Y'all niggas some demons, G. Y'all niggas gotta be demons, G. Like, y'all gotta be. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I I'm sorry, G. Y'all niggas gotta be some type of things. What's wrong with y'all people? Y'all crazy. I, bro, I ain't even gonna, bro, look. I ain't even gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all right now. You niggas is some type of different type of creatures. When was it cool to sound like a demon thing and fucking smash guitars and fight? And have you ever seen like a heavy metal brawl? Like, like a mosh pit? Like, what the fuck is this? What? Yo, you niggas is on some other shit, dog. Bro, look. What? Yo. I'm going to keep it all the way real with you, G. I'm going to keep it all the way 5,000 with y'all. Y'all niggas is really on some evil shit. Like, <laughs> like, I was dead ass watching like a concert. Like, I think it was like a kiss or one of them niggas. I don't know who it was. And I was just like, yo, why no critics ever said nothing about this? I've never seen no critics talking about this type of shit. I've never seen a critic say, you know, and you know what's crazy? So I went and Googled the lyrics. You know what the lyrics said? I went and actually Googled the lyrics. You know what this shit said? The song started off like this. I wake up and kill my mother. And my father, I'm so numb. No, 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 kill everybody. No. Bruh, 
I never seen a critic say a single thing about none of this music. I never seen a whole committee go, you know, rock music might be the cause of all these school shooters and things. I never, I never seen a critic say, you know, some of these fucking crazy ass white kids are listening to this rock music and it's affecting their minds. I never seen that. I've never seen a fucking committee of people trying to stop fucking rock music. Yo, bro. I went to one of my first rock shows for the first time in my life. Dog. I don't know who it was, but I'm like, you know, I'm just go. You know how many niggas that I thought I was going to have to kill in there? My first time inside the mosh pit, I thought I was going to have beef with all type of niggas after it was over. I'm like, yo, all these niggas getting it when this shit over. This nigga just socked me. Man, the beat cut off and them niggas went back to listening like nothing never happened. They was beating each other up, kicking each other, jumping off, throwing chairs at each other, everything. And then the beat went to another part of the beat, and they was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what type of devil worship is this? This is devil worship. These are like demons. They like, you know what? I came to the final conclusion. Dear black people, I'm going to say this out loud and clear. Dear black people, please shut the fuck up. All right. Can we stop poking our finger at white people before they come fuck us up? Listen to me, niggas. Can we please stop talking shit? Can we stop talking shit? Can we stop? Can we can we stop talking shit about like we strong and all type of shit? Can we stop? These motherfuckers gonna fuck us up. My nigga, these niggas be in the club beating each other up weekly. What you think we gonna do? You think we gonna beat them up when they literally beat themselves up and laugh? What you think we gonna do? These niggas practice beating each other up every weekend. On the average, on the average punk rocker gets socked in the head at least eight times a night. The average punk rocker fan gets socked in the back of the cranium at least about eight times a night. What the fuck you think we gonna do? Have you ever seen a mosh pit? Bro, they be kicking each other, drop kicking elbows, knees, all type of shit. Yo, I came to the final conclusion. Dear black people, white people will fuck us up if we ever really stood up. I get it now. I finally get what white people been doing to us for the longest. They been getting ready for an epic fight. That's why they been killing us. They been doing all type of shit. They been getting ready for an epic fight. So they could go, I told you y'all was some bitches. They getting ready. You ever see them them events where white people be stabbing themselves with things and putting shit in their back and hanging on hooks and all type of weird pain shit? You ever seen those events? Like them weird freaky events where they be like sticking things through their skin and just 
really like enduring a bunch of pain. Like, yo, if a nigga scratch me too hard, nigga, I'm gonna be feeling some type of way. If a nigga scratch me too hard, I'm, oh man, the niggas. to be bro we ain't about to be ready for these people when it all hit the fan man when this shit all hit the fan we ain't about to be ready for this type of war these niggas then train for you gotta think these niggas going kayaking they ain't afraid of tsunamis these niggas you gotta think white people out here chasing tornadoes These niggas is running towards tornadoes. They going kayaking, running towards tornadoes, nigga bungee jumping, skydiving, mosh pits, freaky uh, painting, all type of shit. You think we going to really stand a chance against a nigga who are not afraid of tornadoes? These niggas walking on lava. Climbing Mount Everest, doing all type of powerful human things, and we just in the hood think we got hands, huh? So you think you could beat up a nigga who was in the middle of a tornado? Hey, bro, listen to me, black people. These white boys gonna fuck over us when the time is right. Y'all niggas better stop all that marching and protesting before they get mad. You niggas better stop all that talking shit for these white people go, all right, nigga, run it. Man, these niggas, white people jogging every day in shape, all type of shit. Bro. This nigga said lava diving. Shit, I'm pretty sure one of these niggas didn't lava swim. These niggas got shark week. These niggas under there with jellyfish, sharks. They in cages with great white sharks. Man, they swimming with killer whales, orcas, all type of shit. Man, black people. Look, bro. Black people. Chill. All we need to do is just smoke our bud, you feel me, drink our drink, you feel me, make our music, and party. That's all we can do. Let's stop all this Black Panther activist shit. Stop it. Stop it before these white people get mad. Damn, I don't want these people to get mad. Come fuck us up. They can chill. You really... Yo... You know what's crazy? Black people have came up with this weird mentality that we think white people scared of us. <laughs> we came up with this weird mentality that we think white people scared of us. This nigga was swimming with a a 16 foot great white outside of the cage. We have came up with this weird form of reverse psychology that we have some type of way of thinking white people scared of us. Bruh, have you seen Steve Irwin? This nigga dived on a mamba. Steve Irwin dived on a black mamba. Dived on it. What's a feisty one, mate? It might bite me two or three times, but I'll be all right. And you got the nerves to tell me that these niggas is scared of black people. Bruh. Bro. Man, you better leave these white people alone, black people. We need to start waking up, praying to Jesus. Wake up, pray to Jesus. Feel me? Nigga, eat our food, just smoke our bud, nigga, and chill on the front porch like we been doing 
for the past nigga 60, 70 years. Why we why, why we out here marching and doing all type man he Look bro I'm gonna say this loud and clear that this goes to all you niggas. If these white people wanted to, they'd really fuck over us badly. Like very oh my boy Stan Lee. I'm just keeping it all the way real with y'all, dude. If they wanted to, they would really fuck way over us, bro. Like, way. Like, all the way, way. It's cold. I should get some ice cream. So, all right, all right, since y'all black niggas think y'all got hands and squabbles and all that, all right, since you think you got squabbles, because that's the black word, only only squabbles exist in the black community. Since you think you got squabbles, you ready to fight it? You, would you catch your head up with Chris Angel? Since you think you got hands, would you catch a head of fade with Chris Angel? Yes or no? Man, that nigga gonna disappear on your bitch ass so fast, slap you in the back of the head. Since you think you got hands and you got all the squabbles in the world, would you catch a head of fate with Chris Angel? Yes or no? That's all I want to know. See? Y'all niggas was just talking all that powerful black shit. Black, who you think will win? All right, I got one question for y'all. Who you think will win in the clean head up fight? I'm talking about head up fight to the death. Who you think will win? This is this gonna be a good one. Who you think will win? Dr. Sabi? Dr. Sabi or Chris Angel? No, we gonna have a person that's alive. Who you think will win? Dr. York or Chris Angel? Who you going for? Who you got your money on? Dr. York or Chris Angel? Who you going to? I'm putting all my chips on Chris Angel. He going to fuck over Dr. York. I'm putting all my chips on Chris Angel. Yeah, shit. Dr. York could talk all that shit to one of these niggas. Backhand this shit with one of those magical... Man, that nigga Chris Angel gonna be out there like Gambit. That nigga gonna be shooting all type of magical cards at Dr. York. Nigga, Dr. York ain't gonna know what to do. Man, that nigga gonna pull so many card tricks on Dr. York. Dr. York gonna want my consciousness. That shit ain't gonna work. That nigga gonna destroy your ass. My consciousness. All that consciousness shit ain't gonna work when these niggas banking your shit. I'll be right back. Hi. All right, we got another celebrity, celebrity conscious versus random white person matchup. Who you got? Who you got? <laughs> Who you going for? David Blaine or Brother Polite? In the clean, I'm talking about a clean head up fight to the death. 
Oh, I'm gonna get some of those. Clean, clean head of fight to the death. Who you got, David Blaine or Brother Polite? I think it's down here, excuse me. Who y'all got? Damn, y'all just gonna count my boy Brother Polite out like that? No, I, I don't know. Brother Polite look like he knows some things that he ain't told people yet. I've been with Brother Polite. I've been at his house one time. And one time I came out the bathroom and I was like, yo, Polite, where you at? And I blinked my eyes and then I opened him up and he was just right there. And I was like, oh, this nigga knows some black sorcery. No, brother polite like a different type of thing. No, I don't I don't consider brother polite one of the conscious things. He different. He know different type of the Jedi things. I remember I was looking at him, I was like, yo, Pete. He was like, yo, what's good? And then he had on a wave cap. And I was like, yo, you be kicking that knowledge, B. I blinked my eyes and opened, and he had on the little uh, the little Moor hat. It just uh, popped on like like a Grand Theft Auto. You know how the Grand Theft Auto when you change the clothing, it just automatically switch. It should just switch. Like he had on a regular way. Cause we were talking about some New York shit. You feel me? like yo, yeah, it was it was crazy in the BX Brownsville. You know he had on his do rag, and I was like, yo, I'm glad you grown up to that consciousness. I blinked my eyes, and then the little Moor hat thing with the little hanging thing it was on. It was like, yo, power to the people. I said, wait. I was looking. Man, didn't he just have on the door? I'm telling you, G. Polite knows some things. Oh, polite, different. He he know different things. I came to the final conclusion. I think Brother Polite like a like a demigod. When I be with Brother Polite, I be really just looking at bro. I be like, I don't think he human. He like he got like some Anunnaki type of descendant. I be looking at Polite like he got he got a different type of thing. You know what would be crazy? What if young Pharaoh was really like a Pharaoh? Like, what if he was really like a real live Pharaoh? Like, for real, for real. Like, people don't be thinking about that. Like, people don't be thinking, like, you know, over so many years, like, like, I don't think reincarnation happened like that, but I think, like, it does happen. He, he might be an actual Pharaoh. Like, for real. Huh. Okay. Oh, because the pharaoh was short and then young pharaoh is short. So it's like, you know, who knows? Like, who really knows? But. We've been so programmed to think that nobody from the era looked like us, so you know how that works. Uh, yeah. No. He's spending today having Christmas with his family. Thank you. You have a nice one.
Yo, just, you know what I was just thinking about right now? I was thinking about Santa Claus. I be thinking, I be thinking about the multiple forms of reverse psychology. I just think about Santa Claus for a second. There's a white, big old white nigga at the North Pole that knows when you are nice and knows when you are good and knows when you are naughty. There's a big old nigga pretty much on the other side of the fucking Arctic Wall that really watch everybody. That's kind of creepy when you think about it. And the nigga come in your house and eat cookies. That don't trip y'all. Santa Claus right there. Santa! I think that was Santa. See, you say his name three times, nigga, he appear up like Candyman. Santa, Santa, Santa. I'm out. I just want to talk while I was there.